I'm dripping junket. Hey doing everybody, Ralph here, Ralphie's Reviews, Team Knucklehead. Uh, time for another review. Today we're going to be looking at the Goon RDA. Lovely bit of kit. We've had them in for a few weeks now and they've become one of my favourites to be fair. I've got brass, copper and black. That's how much I like them. Um, they've got a slightly unusual deck, as in the... The posts are clamps, they're not holes. You'll see more in the the close-up. Let me uh, find my juice, have a quick drip. They've got bags of airflow, they're really adjustable. They're 24mm, which suits modern trends. And they really, really do produce the goodies. I'm loving them. I'm loving them. Goon RDA. We'll uh, get up close and personal. I'll show you what comes in the box and how they're built and how to build one. Chuck a building, have a vape and talk a little bit more. See you in a minute. Okay, so here's the bad boy in the box. We get the RDA, little bag of spares. We get the, the usual coils, o-rings, screwdriver and screws. I never use the coils. Um, let's get them out and have a, have a better look. So, we've got this 24mm dripper with a nice copper 510 protruding very safely for all your hybrid users like me. This little screw holds a positive post on, which if I can pull that out, which I can't, I'm just going to screw it onto this Pilot Vapes builder, very similar to the Coilmaster 521 tab. There we go, that's got him. I will have him off there. You'll see that the build deck is two blocks, positive ones insulated, and it's got these clamps rather than post holes with two screws in. Yeah, see the positive one leans in a little bit, they're all like that. All the ones we've got are, doesn't affect function. It's nicely insulated, everything's safe, it's good and sturdy. And as I say, you've got this copper 510 screw, it's not adjustable. If you undo that, your positive block's just going to wobble around. That's just for assembly, but it's so proud that you'd never need to adjust it. Lovely, really is lovely. Got another little screw there holding it on. So you've got the two decks are held on by screws. That's for your negative, that's for your positive. Jobs are good and look at the size of it, look how deep that juice well is. You've got the two O-rings that hold the top cup on really firm, as you just saw. I can't pull mine off without it being fixed to a device. And then you've got your 510, which is quite wide bore. You get custom drip tips, tailpipe it, use the standard one, that's what I do. These are about the same size as a Kennedy. So you've got that option. And then you've got three air holes for your airflow control. And you can turn it to open those up. And you can also, if I can get that out, because this is brand new out of the box, so I'll push it with my finger. There you go. You can also run it with the option of single coil just by using the single set of holes and that'll close the other ones off. Yeah. So very versatile. I mean you can really dial in that airflow to just how you like it. I run mine wide open because I run really, really low builds um, and it produces. It really does produce. So, lovely, lovely bit of kit. All fits together lovely. Very versatile. Jobs are good. And... Right, let's look at how we build him. So, what I do, I pop him in my pilot vapes. 
and I'm using 20 gauge wrathful wires so that's this stuff I'll do a, a tutorial and a bit of a review on this separately um, hopefully later on in the week so we've got that we've got ourselves 6 inches yeah 3 mil screwdriver and I'm just going to wrap four wraps which I always find a bit fiddly on camera so bear with so we're gonna go one two three four and I've got one going one way one leg going one way one leg going the other way and I'll explain why as I work through it first thing I'm gonna do is give them a really good pull those legs just to take any slack out like that yeah and I'm gonna use my pliers to push that down onto the shoulder of my tool so we snug that up and now the reason that I go one one way and one the other way on the legs there is that I'm gonna bend them up so that they exit the coil centrally look I'm gonna grab that with my pliers and give it a tweak up a little bit more just a little bit more like that and then we're going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same with this one just give it a little tweak up so now what we've got is two legs running about off the centre of the coil rather than one top one bottom and that will really help us centralise that coil when we come to fit it next thing we need to do is pre-bend these legs there's a video down in my channel where I really do this in detail but I'll just do it quick and run through it so all I'm going to do is hold that in the pliers just so the top of the coils level with the top of the jaws of the plier I'm going to bend one leg one way and one leg the other way about like that and then I'm going to grab that as close to the coil as I can and I'm going to bend it up yeah same on this side as close to the coil as I can and I'm gonna bend it up something like that so that's pre-shaped this one I prepared earlier there's me two coils jobs are good in. let's pull the old deck in so first thing I'll do it's just sucking these screws off they're really long screws you can undo them loads which is useful I mean one of the benefits of having the clamp set up rather than post holes is you can run as thick or a thinner wire as you like they're really good for flat wire they're really good for your flaptons, fused claptons, claptons, framed staples whatever you like and you're going to get them good under them clamps. Give that a little shake and that'll give us a bit of room. Okay. First coil. I'm just going to feed the long leg under one clamp, the short leg under the other clamp. And I'm going to get it about where I want it and then trim off the excess with my flush cutters. Yep. There's one coil done. How simple as that? Same for the next coil. Pop it on the screwdriver. Feed them in. Push them about where I want them. Clip them off. That's another coil done. Cool beans. So, I'll just pop the second coil on a on a screwdriver spin it round and throw them everywhere now it's simply a case of getting those legs underneath the clamps again which is a little bit fiddly at first especially on camera I'll just shake them down and pop that in and Pop that one in, hold them nice and snug, 
and evenly tighten the screws down. So just take the slack out and work your way along. Let me move that so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing, hopefully. Yeah, so we'll just tighten that up slightly till it touches. Then tighten this up slightly till it touches. And then we'll work our way back along. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. There you go. Get those out of the way. I'm just going to centralise that. Just lift it up a little bit so it sits where I want it. Pull it away. Tighten it up a little bit more because it's just snuck its way out. Me trying to be all delicate with this and do it on camera. It is easier if you sit it flat so you can bear down on the screws. There you go. That's pretty much it. Honestly, I'll just level that up. And my pliers. And the job's a good one. Test the old resistance. 0.04. Christ on a bike, that's really low. It shouldn't be that low. It should be about 0.06. So that's pre-fire and pre-proper tighten if you like, because I'm doing it on camera. And using low resistance, thick gauge wire. Let's have a look now, 0.04, that's too low for me. I want 0.06, which I'm gonna get after a pinch and pulse. Now, as good as this is, it's not gonna run that low, so. What I'll do, I'll pop that on my mech and fire it up and we'll go from there. See you in a minute. So here we have it. I popped it on my uh, able. I'm just going to do a little bit of pulsing and pinching. I'm just going to get them glowing. Give them a quick squeeze. Just to set them close together. Get all the coils lined up. And from there, we can work on it to get them glowing evenly. What I like to do is feed my screwdriver back in, give it a wiggle, get any short circuits out and any arcing across and bridging and whatnot. And then give it a strum. There we go. That's coming. This one's a little bit off this one's a little bit off but we're getting there feed that in again give it a little wiggle same with that one little wiggle and we should see those starting to come together coming with my ceramics see this one's glowing faster than the other Let that cool off. There we go. That's coming nicely. Let it cool off. Not perfect, but you get the idea. And we just give it a little tweak with the ceramics. A little strum. And a little wobble. Until we get it just how we want it. Which... It's slowly coming together. Once we've done all that, what I like to do, because we've got it so warm, is just check that these post screws, post screws, clamp screws, are tight. Makes all the difference. A little squib up. And mess it around with your screwdriver and your strumming and your pinching and pulsing until you get those coils firing evenly from the centre out which we should be 
coming towards doing any minute now just bear with we're taking just a few minutes and pressing around to get those just right makes all the difference in the vape one last go I think there we go lovely jubbler so we'll whip that up and we're good to go pretty much I like my cotton bacon V2 um, just open him up pull, a, well, pull all of it out we'll pull a wadge out and we'll guesstimate a strip that's going to fit down the inside of that 3mm no need to mess around with it too much twist one end to a point then we can feed him through just like that and get our scissors trim the ends off just wider than the deck I like to do it's quite a large deep deck takes quite a bit of cotton same again pull him through trim him off Chuck the ends in, like this. And that, my dears, is just about where we want to be. I like to clear the cotton from under the coil, make sure the ends are tucked in. And that'll give us a good bit of vapour. Jobs are good in ready to juice up and have a vape I'll see you back up top okay so as you see it's, it's simple enough to build on um, I wouldn't go that low 0 0.04 that's that's a crazy even for me and I'm fucking nuts 0 0.06 0 0.08 I'm um, to be fair the wrathful wise is a new thing for me brilliant wire we're going to be stocking it I'll be reviewing it it's uh, throwing me off a little bit because it is such low resistance. I'd put another wrap or even two on there. So I'd be looking at 06, 08 with uh, five, six wraps on the three mil just to keep things safe. And it's still going to give you a vape that's going to kick your head in. But let's have a, a quick slurp. The idea really is just to show you how simple it is to build on. And how much room there is in that deck and how much it can take plenty of cotton and yada yada yada. So disregard the uh, resistance there and build it to how you like. You know, don't copy me. If you like a, a cooler vape or you're not happy running such serious sub-zero resistance, then don't do it. You don't have to do it. Yeah. Just do what you enjoy, but do it safe. And do what pleases you. So the goon, lovely, lovely bit of kit, five to eight vapes, whatever they're called, five to eight customs, five to eight whatever's, but they're really, really nice. Five to eight custom vapes, goon, brilliant device. Um, if you're on the market for a nice 24 mil, that's not too tall. It's got that inner to viv, inner to viv, is that even a word? It's got the clamped style, you can fit whatever you like, you can get whatever size wire you want in there, whether it's really thin or really thick or really wide or flat or whatever. Um, I run three different setups in the three that I've got. One's the, the NI80 round. Uh, another one's got a Fuse Clapton, or framed staple actually, but a Fuse Clapton. And the other one's got flat wires and, it, and they handle it great. They really do and the vape's great. The performance is great, they look great. This is great, they're a winner winner chicken dinner. And they will get you on that steam train to Flavor Town. So the dog shit cheap as well, I think. I don't know how much it cost. I should know, shouldn't I? But you know, have a look. I'll put a link in. 
I put a link into our group as well. If you want to uh, come and join us on Facebook, it's not the Ralphie Show. It's uh, Go Clone or Go Home. It's Team Knucklehead's official vape group on Facebook. Um, there's a wealth of knowledgeable members. Um, no questions too daft. We welcome everybody that vapes instead of smoking. Um, come and join the family. It's a right good crack. Thanks for watching. And remember people, smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which do you choose? Big love everybody. And I'll see you all again soon.